So we'll uh, move to the next presentation by Gianluca on uh, business cases for underground hydrogen storage. Thank you, Arnaud, and well, hello again. Um, I'm going to present now um, a, a general overview and um, a description of a potential uh, hydrogen storage business case uh, based in Italy uh, for a porous media. And um, yeah, uh, the present work was carried out uh, within uh, the work package eight uh, of high storage project, uh, which foresaw um, uh, three tasks. Uh, the 8.1, uh, the, the, the main objective for this task was to develop a joint methodology, uh, um, providing, let's say, as final derivable, a techno-economic toolbox uh, useful for uh, the techno-economic analysis of uh, the business cases. Uh, then uh, the task 8.2 uh, for identification of potential business cases in five uh, different uh, member states across Europe. Uh, in detail, France, uh, France uh, Germany, Spain, uh, Poland, and, uh, and Italy. And uh, finally, uh, the last task, benchmarking, uh, which is still uh, in progress and uh, it will be finalized by the end of, of June. Uh, it's like to make a comparison, a final comparison between uh, the generated business cases in the task 8.2 and uh, draw final conclusion for, uh, for the study. <coughs> Um, so yeah, uh, starting with uh, the joint methodology, um, the toolbox <coughs> was developed taking into account and uh, implementing uh, the cost model uh, presented by Arno for uh, and uh, and provided by the work package uh, seven, and uh, the tool comprised uh, in brief uh, different spreadsheets. And what you see here is uh, the spreadsheet uh, which we called uh, summary where uh, the full set of parameters uh, useful to characterize um, a business case is here. So here the, the user can freely choose um, number of covers, and the number of cycles, um, cost of electricity, uh, the working gas volume capacity, and, and so on. So uh, you can see here different colors and uh, well, uh, green uh, stays for all those parameters which, can, which the user can freely choose. And um, uh, the yellow means uh, is, is for those parameters which is better to, uh, let's say, to, to, um, to fix with an expert opinion. And finally, the, the red parameters are all these parameters computed directly from uh, the, the cost model integrated in the, in the model. Okay, and uh, once introduced all the mentioned parameters, um, the, tools, uh, the tool gives you back um, a detailed um, breakdown of costs in terms of uh, subsurface, uh, uh, subsurface capex, uh, the capex related to surface operation and uh, facilities, um, opex, and uh, the abex, the abandonment expenditure. And well, to conclude a bit with the joint methodology, uh, this is the um, another spreadsheet of of the tool. Uh, in order to characterize the financing of of the business case. And here the user can, can choose uh, subsidy financing funds, um, uh, the discount rate, uh, um, the margin profit for, uh, for the business case. And um, uh, for, for every business cases we consider in, in each member state, um, we took into account a first investment phase uh, uh, or construction phase between 2022 until 2030 which is the, the starting date for the real venture period when the revenues starts existing. And uh, the venture period uh, will last 30 years for, for, for each business case. Once introduced all these, these inputs in, in this spreadsheet, uh, the tool gives us back uh, automatically uh, net present value, the internal rate of return, and uh, net present costs, and the levelized cost of storage for, uh, for, the, for the business case. Um, 
Well, uh, there are a lot of data here, I know, but uh, moving to the definition of the porous media in, in Italy, um, uh, this is the set of full parameters for uh, uh, selected to, to build it. And uh, the parameters you see here marked in, uh, in orange are all parameters which are uh, in common with uh, the other business cases in the other countries uh, to generate, let's say, a, a baseline, a reference baseline for, for everyone. And uh, so, yeah, uh, the apothetical porous media was sized considering uh, the mid case uh, described by Arno in the work package seven and uh, consisting so uh, in the 25 uh, development wells or storage wells, uh, six observation wells. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, with a total working gas of 550 uh, million stars of standard cubic meters. And uh, we consider it um, a full cycle, uh, with just one full cycle per uh, per year, and uh, uh, this uh, this means this leads to uh, around uh, forty eight thousand tons of hydrogen stored per year as a throughput of of the um, of the purse media. Uh, also, uh, the, the the business case was characterized by a null net present value. Uh, we consider this as a baseline for the for for uh, achieving, let's say, a, a break, an economic break-even for, for this case. And it was achieved by adjusting um, the storage service margin profit uh, to the hydrogen storage cost. And so those are the results obtained for, for these business cases. Uh, the table shows uh, the breakdown of costs. Uh, as you see, um, uh, the capex for subsurface uh, was around 550 millions uh, for the surface. Uh, we are talking about 500 millions of euros. The opex was uh, about 30 millions of euros, and uh, finally, uh, the apex uh, 150 millions. Uh, we achieved uh, for this business case a levelized cost of storage of around 3.96 euros per kilo of hydrogen stored. And uh, considering yeah, uh, a null net present value with a storage saving margin profit of 22.4%. Uh, you can also see here the yearly net cash flows uh, across along the years of, of the venture period, starting with investment phase. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, the net cash flows reach the neg negative peak when the revenues uh, are absent. And then starting with uh, the, the venture period, uh, the trend is different and uh, becomes more gradually more, more positive along the years. Uh, moving to the sensitivity analysis, uh, which was carried out within this, this study, um, uh, and a replicated uh, full factorial design with Minitab uh, was adopted in order to assess uh, the real effect of these sensitive parameters in in the in the number of uh, in the ranges values you see here in in this table on different response variables for the business case which are the net present value um the internal rate of return net present cost obviously and uh, the the levelized cost of storage um so yeah, uh, moving to the obtained uh, results, uh, those are uh, these diagrams are normal pot of standardized effects for uh, um, uh, for the net present value, and uh, on the left, and for the internal rate of return on the on the right. And well, these diagrams are very useful to assess the impact of of uh, each sensitive parameters on on the response variable. So starting with uh, the net present value. Uh, we can see that the margin profit of the storage service was among uh, the most influencing factor uh, on the business case, uh, net present value, and, but also it was negatively influenced by uh, an increase in corporate tax. Uh, moving to the internal rate of return, uh, it was strongly affected by, uh, firstly, uh, discount rate and then the storage service margin profit and also uh, negatively affected by uh, higher corporate taxes. 
uh, moving to net person cost on on the left. Uh, yeah, uh, as expected, a higher number of wells uh, obviously led to an increase uh, in the res in the resulting net person cost. And um, uh, finally, for the levelized cost of storage, um, yeah, it was visibly reduced by both by increasing both number of cycles and number of wells as a uh, important consequence of larger hydrogen throughput processed per per year. And just to conclude, um, this is an optimized scenario uh, from the sensitivity analysis we, we did. And just to give you an example about what we achieved, and if you remember the level of cost of storage for the baseline scenario, um, the price was about four euros per kilo. In this case, we achieved to reduce the levelized cost of storage below three euros per kilo of hydrogen by keeping um, a positive net percent value and a reasonable internal rate of, of return. Even, even if we are considering, it's not working. Even if we're considering here um, worst scenario in terms of cost of electricity, and uh, worst scenario even in for for corporate tax. Um, I think that's all for my side. Thank you very much for your attention. Is there any question? Patrick. Yeah, Pat Patrick Egerman, Storengi. Um, so for, for natural gas uh, activity, so typically the level cost of transportation are, are very comparable with the level cost of storage. Uh, for uh, European hydrogen backbone, uh, the cost announced for uh, transportation, I think we are between uh, 11 and 26 cents per kilo hydrogen, if I remember well. So the, the question is for you and maybe for Arno. Uh, and I'm very surprised about the, the figure announced here, because for me, it's, it's not as low as, it is very high, because it, when you compare even to the cost of the molecule, it, it is huge. So t t in, in 2050, the cost of the molecule is announced at three, four euros per kilo. Who can afford to store hydrogen at that cost? Yeah, thank you for your, for your remark. And uh, yeah, I, in, it is important to highlight that we have to consider that we perform a sensitivity analysis within, uh, let's say, um, fixed uh, ranges values for only six sensitive parameters, which we consider as, as sensitive. But maybe uh, we, we can accomplish, uh, let's say, more optimized scenarios in different uh, range values of these sensitive parameters or even others. So this is a kind of example, but maybe it could be, it could be improved. Yeah, so, so thank to compliment. Thank you, Patrick, for this uh, <laughs> remark. It's excellent. It's exactly uh, the reaction we had when we find these numbers. Yeah. Um, I think we go through that this afternoon. So if you don't mind, <laughs> I will not reply to you directly here, but, but you're very right. It's, it looks surprisingly high, but we find that it develops even at, at cost to kind of spoil this afternoon. 